your science tutor for today how are you how's your first week of answering your module i hope you are doing well and okay now we have the mixtures and their characteristics in this lesson we will be having learning tasks that will help you describe the appearance uses of homogeneous and of course heterogeneous mixtures are you ready sixth graders if you are ready now let's go remember that mixture is a combination of two or more substances present in varied proportion okay so are you excited about mixture we'll be having more of it today now i'll be giving you an example of a mixture how many of you tasted halo halo isn't it delicious Halo halo is a mixing of other substances together. There are two or more elements or compounds mixed together. They do not interact chemically. So halo halo is an example of a mixture. It's yummy, right? Now what are the ingredients of halo halo? We have makapuno, ube, leche flan, pinipig, banana, jelly and many many more now can you name other ingredients of halo halo wow that's great good answer now we have types of mixture we have homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture homo means it contains substances that are evenly mixed or pantay pantay use as a uniform or throughout in terms of physical appearance. Second, it contains component substances that are usually easy to distinguish or madaling makilala, madaling ma-identify. Other types of mixture, these are the examples. A chocolate drink and of course we have pizza. In chocolate drink, it's not easy to distinguish a choco and a sugar. While in, in a pizza, you can easily distinguish the ingredients. These are the other examples. Soy sauce, vinegar, and the probiotic milk. What are the types of homogeneous mixtures? Homo, we have solid homogeneous mixtures. Second one, we have the liquid homogeneous mixtures. And the third one is the gaseous homogeneous mixtures. So these are the three types of homogeneous mixtures. Now let us have this one by one. First example for solid homo is asphalt or bitumen or asphalto in Tagalog. This is a mixture of complex hydrocarbon chemicals and solid form of petroleum. Another example is a cement. Cement composes of a calcium compounds. It is mixed with sand, gravel, and water to become concrete. Have you seen this? I'm sure you have seen this. Other examples are the coins, the plastics, and the woods. They are the solid homogeneous mixtures. You already seen this, guys. The coins, the plastics, and the woods. Now let's proceed with the liquid homogeneous mixture. The best example is the blood plasma located in our body. This is colorless fluids that holds blood cells like this picture. We have the red blood cells, the platelets, and the white blood cells. 
Another example is a water. Except for distilled water, all water contains dissolved minerals and gases. So, water is a homogeneous mixture. Okay, another is a liquid detergent mixture of various soaps and chemicals. We usually have this in our laundry areas at home, right? The next one is gaseous homogeneous mixture. The best example is air. This is a mixture of oxygen, nitrogen, argon, carbon, dioxide, and other elements in smaller units. So we can have this inside and outside our home. The air is the best example of a gaseous homogeneous mixture Can you think of other gaseous homogeneous mixture You can see the you can see them in our kitchen All right Good answers. We have aerosol. This is a substance enclosed under pressure and able to release as a fine spray by means of a propellant gas. Do you have this at home? Remember, do not try it. And then we have the natural gas, a mixture of methane and other hydrocarbons uses a fuel. So you, can, you have this in the kitchen. It's a combination of methane, ethane, propane, butane, and condensates. So this is a natural gas. Wow, it's activity time! <laughs> now, you are ready? Go, let's go! We have to identify the type of mixture for each sample. We have to write HM on the blank and HT if it is heterogeneous mixture. First, coffee and cream dissolved in water. Two, milk solution. Three, mixed toys in the room. Four, paper clips and pins. And five, soy sauce. It's now your turn to write your answer. Remember to write HM or HT. Capital HM or capital HT. Good luck! Number 6, halo-halo. 7, gravel and sand. 8, buko salad. And number 10, iodized salt and pepper. Review your work. Are you done with this first part? If you are done, next is activity two. Let's go. Activity two is about the word or group of words that makes each mixture a homogeneous. All you have to do is to underline the word or group of words. Just underline the hint i am a mixture of alcohol and water when these substances are mixed one of us is no longer identifiable what is the word or group of words that makes this a homogeneous mixture and same is true with number two and number three i am a mixture of substances that can be seen at first glance of me what are the word or group of words that make this sentence a homogeneous? And same is true with number four. Remember, you can underline a single word or a group of words. And the 
fifth one is I am a mixture of substances but I can only be seen as one substance. Alright, so take your time in answering activity 2. For activity 3, ding, ding, ding. we have two paragraphs. We have to read them carefully, write the mixture in each paragraph. Now, we have to tell or write whether the mixture described is homogeneous or heterogeneous. All you have to do is to write homogeneous or heterogeneous. Scene 1 is about J. Lord who wants to make a sauce for the barbecue. Scene 2 is about Nikki who found out that her sister Marian has chill and colds. Good luck! Wow, it is done. Ding, ding, ding. Now, let us check. I hope you are already set. 1 and 2 HM, 3 and 4 HD, number 5 HM, number 6 HD, 7 and 8 HD, number 9 HM and number 10 HD. Activity 2. No longer identifiable. It was dissolved in the water. Cannot be seen at first glance of me. Have the same face and be seen as one substance. Ready for activity 3? Homogeneous and homogeneous. Both homogeneous. Good job. Congratulations for having done with this module number one in science. Remember, mixtures are found to be very useful in our daily lives. They are formed by combining different materials to make necessary materials in our daily activities. So these mixtures are very useful at home and in the community. All right. Once again, congratulations, 6th graders. You are now ready for our second module next week. Thank you for listening, guys. And see you again on our next video for our next lesson. Bye everyone and stay safe. Enjoy your week.